Hi guys, so this is Mr. Christian. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at diving deep into God's word uh, through video. And so I'm glad you're here and let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna talk about how God loves the entire world, right? He doesn't just love a few people here, a few people there, but he actually loves everybody, right? So the way we do that is gonna look in God's word. So when you think about verses in the Bible, uh, can you tell me what do you think is probably the most famous verse in all of scripture? That's right, if you said John 3.16, you're correct. John 3.16 is probably the most famous verse in the entire book of the Bible. And we're gonna take a look at that along with also verse 17 right after. So if you have your Bible, get it, and we're gonna take a look at it. But at first, I need you to tell me, is John in the New Testament or the Old Testament? Yeah, New Testament, that's right. And also, what division is John? Is it history? Is it prophets? Is it gospels? Yeah, that's right, it's the Gospels. All right, now that we got that cleared up, let's take a look at it. So, John 3, 16 and 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Now, Jesus was saying these words to a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus came and had a bunch of different questions and really wondered about salvation and what he must do. And so Jesus answered him. He said, well, it's me. I came in order to save the world. He said that I came to not condemn the world, but to save it. And so that's what Nicodemus asked about. And so let's take a look at what he really meant when he said that Jesus came to save the world. So if you kind of go way, way back in history, at the beginning, right? In the beginning, God created everything and he also created us created Adam and Eve. He created humans. Adam and Eve, they lived in this garden. They were per they lived in perfect. They didn't have any sin. They didn't have any anything wrong. But eventually they were tempted by Satan and they ended up eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They ate of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And so sin entered the world. All that shame, guilt, all of it entered then. And so can you tell me what is sin? Yeah, sin is anything that you think, that you say, that you do or that you don't do that displeases God. That's what it is, that's what sin is. And sin entered the world. And ever since Adam and Eve sinned, we've all sinned ourselves. We've all made mistakes. I continue to sin, I make mistakes. You guys make mistakes. Your parents make mistakes, all of us. But luckily God knew that sin would enter the world. So he made a way for us to be saved. Because guess what? No matter how good we are, nothing ever can change the fact that we're sinners. We can't do it ourselves. In fact, scripture tells us that, uh, well, that we're not good enough. We can't do good things. We can't keep our rooms clean enough. We can't listen to our parents enough. We can't uh, be perfect in school. That, that doesn't get us into heaven. The only thing that gets us into heaven is Jesus through his son. That's what scripture tells us. It says that we've all fallen short of the glory of God. The only way to get to heaven is through his son, Jesus. So that's the only way that we can be saved, nothing else. And so I've actually got a pretty cool example here of a way that you can, an illustration rather, that you can see exactly how Jesus takes away our sin completely and forgives us. And so I actually got a friend with me here today. So if she wants to come on up, I'm gonna show you something really cool that you can actually do at home too. So come on up, Peyton. All right, Peyton. So we're gonna do this little experiment here so we can kind of show them what they can do at home that illustrates what I just talked about, all right? So here we got this bowl of water. Okay, it's completely clear, there's no pepper in it, it's empty. So kind of imagine it like that's the world before sin entered it, okay? So sin hasn't entered the world, entered the world yet, so it's clear. But we're gonna take this pepper here and um, I'm gonna let you add it here in a second. That is gonna represent sin. So all the little specks that go in, that's gonna represent the sin entering the world, okay? So let's go ahead and add some pepper to it. And try not to sneeze, because it's that's kind of strong. All right, perfect. All right, so. Sins enter the world, right? So when you look at this, is there any way that you can take this pepper out without taking the water out? No, I mean, you could dump it out, but then you're losing the water. So God knew that, that we couldn't do anything about our own sin. So he sent his son, Jesus, to take away our sin. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this. So okay. and what you're gonna do is just kind of put it here in the middle and I want you to just do four or five squirts, just right there. And let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that, see? All the pepper just shot out to the sides of the bowl. Okay, and that's kind of like what Jesus does for us. Now, in this, in this illusion, if you will, the pepper stayed in the bowl, 
But whenever Jesus comes and he forgives us of our sins and we make him the boss of our life, he takes away all of our sin. So it's completely gone and he gets rid of it. Right, isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for helping me out. Give me some elbow. Awesome. So guys, this is a great, easy experiment you can do at home that really illustrates how Jesus takes away our sin and how he's the only way. So all you need is a bowl, some pepper, some soap, and some water. So again, you just fill up the bowl with water, put some pepper in it, and then do some soap. Uh, dish soap works. This is actually some soft soap pan soap. You can try it with that. You just kind of squirt it in the middle and watch as the pepper just spreads to the sides of the bowls. And it really gets to show you what Jesus did for us and how he gets rid of all of our sin. Okay, so here's some questions I want you to think about as you guys are at home doing this. So one, I want you to answer, um, when did sin enter the world? Yeah, when did sin enter the world? And also I want you to look at uh, how are we forgiven of our sins? Or rather, what's the only way to be forgiven of our sins? So as you're sitting here doing this, think about those questions and get your parents and your family members, whoever's there, and really talk about this so we can continue to study God's word. And I will see you next time.